Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. I am Mimi Bakes and today we're going to make two in one which is banana bread and um, jammy scones. So I'm not really following the whole um, book thing as this is the banana bread is from a different um, book. But it's still Mary Berry which that still kind of counts. So um, you have to measure all the ingredients for, well firstly you have to set the thing to 160 degrees Celsius. And there it is. And you have to, and then you have to mix all the ingredients which are um, 100 grams of butter softened. Six um, or 170 grams of caster sugar, two large eggs, two ripe bananas mashed, and um, 225 um, grams of self-raising flour, one and one level teaspoon of baking powder, and two tablespoons tablespoonfuls of milk. Now, you just simply have to mix all the ingredients together. So I'll meet you in a minute. Four ounces of butter softened. Six ounces of caster sugar. Two large eggs. Two bananas mashed. She's gonna mash them by. No, mash them. She's gonna squish them. Yeah. Eight ounces of self raising flour. Um, one level teaspoon of baking powder. So that's a teaspoon? Yeah. <laughs> Two tablespoonfuls of milk. Hmm, that works. Oh, that make up for this first one. to um, just put a towel over or do something like that um, and How have you lined that um, loaf tin, Maria? With one of these! M Mummy said this is a trick so you don't have to do all this stuff and it takes way more longer. Just use one of these. In all good stores. <laughs> Alright. Oh, well, I'll just put it. Huh? I'll just, shall I pop it? Yeah, pour it in. Just use this match and scrape it off. Huh? What's it look, look Joanna? It looks beautiful. <coughs> so it's better than throwing out your bananas, isn't it? Yeah. And what can you use banana bread for? To eat. Bananas. For your healthy snack at school. Sometimes you use it, don't you? Yeah, can I have it? Well, I'll see if it lasts that long. Reems, would you scrape that out with your spatula, please? On the worktop. Give it a few taps. Not this? Yeah, uh-huh. No, no. <laughs> you're low potential. <laughs> And to be all been for one hour. What? Yeah, this is one hour. Oh yeah. One hour. Oh well, I'll take about uh, one hour to get uh, myself. Right, and stop. Which one? This one. 
Yeah. Doesn't matter. So I can see it's round. No, right, that's perfect. Whenever it's in the oven. So now, since that one's done, I'm back to the normal book. And I'm making jammy buns. Uh, Benji made um, that and he, well, that was one of his, that was his first ever bake by himself. And yeah, he didn't put in enough jam. Um, so. You're not going to make that mistake this time, Henry, are you? No. Okay. So the oven is already set to um, 160, and but it'll work for 180. Mum, won't it work for like 160? Oh, yeah, I'll be fine. I'll put it in for an extra 10 minutes. I will. I'll be fine. Oh well. Um. So I have my paper here, and we are going to just here. put great paper on um this. So get some scissors. Pause. So now I have grease proofed the tin with grease proofed paper. Um, I have to measure the flour and spice into a bowl and rub in the um, butter until the mixture assembles the fine bread crumbs um, and stir in the sugar. So, but the ingredients are 8 ounces of self raising flour, uh, 3 quarters of um, mixed spice. 3 quarters of teaspoon is it? Uh, yeah. Um, two ounces of butter, two ounces of caster sugar, one large egg beaten, and um, two teaspoons, uh, tablespoonfuls of milk, two tablespoonfuls of strawberry jam, and a little granulated sugar. So, uh, you have to blend the flour and spice into the bowl first. This is it smells really strong. This is um, three quarters of a teaspoon of mixed spice, which is mum is demonstrating right now. So, oh, so now, oh well, yeah, you have to mix it. So now mix it together. That's so that nice. <laughs> so now mix it together. Rub in the butter, which is um, two ounces of butter, until the mi mixture resembles. So this is two ounces of um, butter, and you have to mix it. To oh, no, it's so hard. And um, mix it together. So. Now I have to mix the egg with the milk, which, where's the milk going? Into this bowl for now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
Pause for a sec. Go. So I have prolonged my surface and I need to roll them into balls. Yeah, this can get all the stuff off me. There you go. Got my hand here. So into 12 balls. Yeah. So maybe if you broke it into two. So yep. If you broke the big ball into two, then you'd know to make six out of that one, so it makes it a bit easier. That's what we did whenever you made it around your business. It's getting, there's still a bit more just stuck to my hands. Oh yeah, just put a bit of flour in your hands. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Huh? I pressed that bit. No, yeah, it's Right. So, I don't know what you're doing. Just wash your hands. So I've washed my hands and they look a lot more clean. And now I have my bowl of dough. So the best thing would be um, split it into two. And you know that oh, I have six to roll out in. Do you want to show you an even better thing, Maria? What? If you split each of them into two as well. Yeah. So each of those two into two, so, so then you know you have to make three out of each. Oh yeah, that's handy. So you have to, that's the one, yeah. You have to roll them into balls. These all in um, circles. Balls? Balls. And no, you have, have more than 12. Yeah, 14. 14. 14. And I have to just simply open open this um, put, and put a bit in each one. Put a bit of water in each one? Is it tomato ketchup? Strawberry jam. Okay. So. Like you opened it? Yay! Mm. I opened it. And how do you make the wee holes? Put the... I just go, I'm going to go like that and put it in the stone. You probably could even do it with your thumb. Or your finger. Oh yeah, put your thumb in. If that's handy, but then you don't like it. I do. So we're going to see two. So about that for each one. Gonna make it like one so it's So, so again you just take the bit of jam. I think that's all. Put it in, then cover it up. It's just gonna last three for minutes. Oh, it smells weird. Double cover it up. So, with some um, double glazed strawberry jam. Double. So, with the magic of video editing, these are gonna be done in a bite. Um, so, now they are wonderfully finished. Probably over for so we're, how long are we going to put it in the oven? You're going to put them in for a bit. Yeah, keep that. Ten, we don't want ten, to. Minutes, Is it? Yeah. Okay, 10, 15 minutes. It's probably going to be 20 or 25. And because the banana bread's in it, we'd be super quick about opening it, okay? Yeah. So you need it. I'll open it really quickly and you'll just slot it in. Now the bread's doing well there. One, two, three, go! First oh, is, that's super slow. First is time put in. So. See you in 15 minutes. See you in 15, See you in 15 minutes. <laughs> so now it is ready to be tipped out of the oven. The banana bread, not the jammy thingies. <laughs> So you can turn it out of the tin. How do I do that? 
Kind of it smells so good. No. So you don't even have to decorate this. So that's it. There is our banana bread. We will see in about five. We will see about in about five minutes for my yummy scones. So bye. They look ready enough to come out from the oven. Be quick. Very delicioso. That's the way the brown thing perfectly cooked. And the straw. Oh. So if we should look about that color there. This color? So that's where as well. So Maria, sign Please off. Please subscribe 